Good afternoon. Good afternoon, dear traders. Welcome to Insta Forex TV News channel with Marina Generalova and Anna Kasatkina. You're watching an overview of forex and commodity markets for the last week. What sentiment prevailed among the currency traders last week? The US dollar bolstered its position on forex. And what backed the greenback? It was the data on the U.S. employment growth and waning investors' worries the Fed could raise interest rates faster than expected. However, the U.S. dollar fell against the Japanese yen and its other major peers on Friday. Thus, it declined to the mark of 102.70 yen from the level of 102.99 yen it traded at prior to the release of the jobs report. U.S. businesses added 209,000 new jobs in July. The figure was below economists' expectations for an increase by 235,000. The dollar's weekly gain versus the yen came in at 1%. Such a substantial rise has not been observed since early March of 2014. Meanwhile, the euro closed the week up at $1.34.11 from the mark of $1.33.93 previously. On Thursday, the greenback managed to spike versus the single currency before the employment data was out. It was based on the positive signals, indicating that the U.S. economy was strong enough to withstand the benchmark interest rate hike by the Fed. In the long term, the euro-US dollar pair still continues downtrend, which has been scored for the last several months. In July, the pair was in free fall, moving down from the resistance area near 1.37 and from a multi-year high of 1.3993 locked in May. According to the estimates, the pair will keep on going down and might meet the support level of 1.33. And this was all about the price movements on Forex. Thank you for the currency pair review, Anna. You're welcome, Marina. And what are the news from the commodity markets? The commodity were still under bearish pressure. Thus, oil futures lost ground, falling below $100 a barrel. Prices dipped by 4% on the week, marking the biggest weekly decline in seven months. On Friday, crude oil futures for delivery in September lost 0.3% to $97.88 per barrel. The U.S. investor data and risk aversion triggered a drop in prices on Thursday. A July monthly decline of 6.8% was the sharpest fall since May 2012. Earlier Friday, oil prices got sharp lift support from positive manufacturing statistics in China, the world's top oil consumer. Brand futures for September deliveries sank 1.1% to $104.84 per barrel. Brand price lost 3.3% in value last week and 5.6% in July. Meanwhile, gold prices hit a three-day low on Friday's trading session amid the weakening U.S. dollar. Gold futures for August delivery gained 1% to $1,293.60 per ounce. Nevertheless, the yellow metal dropped 0.7% as of the end last week. Gold price was declining on Thursday as the metal did not find support from traders opting for the safe haven assets. Marina, thank you for the commodity market survey. You're welcome, Anna. You've been watching the weekly review on the currency and commodity markets on InstaForex TV. Presented to you by Anna Kasatkina and Marina Generalova. Take care. Goodbye. Goodbye.